I asked last week of the Attorney General, Godfrey Diebo Adami, the Chief of Staff, the Honorable Freeman Opari, the Finance Minister, the Honorable Ken Oforiata. The question is for them. Why does Kisi Ajabin live outside the country to do his work? Who is paying for it? Why does he have Ghanaian policemen with him in New York, with him in Pretoria, with him in China? Why does he have Ghanaian officials with him outside the country, staying for long days, weeks, months, that he's doing his work? Which work is he doing abroad? Here is Charles Edubwine, the former Minister of State at the Ministry of Finance. One year after President Akufado referred Charles Edubwine's matter to him, and I keep stating, a lot of time and a lot of money has been spent on this matter. I repeat that. A lot of time and a lot of money has been spent. The people who are listening to me, who know the story, know what I mean by time and money. A lot of time and a lot of money has been spent on this. One year now, he has not been able to issue a report about the Charles Dubois matter. Just yesterday, he was in court with Charles Bissu. He didn't show up. The court has given him two opportunities to respond about the freedom of a Ghanaian. The, 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 uh, the issues about a Ghanaian relating to gold scandal and gold stealing and gold this, gold that, that they were doing, all the gold things. Charles Bissio has gone to CID. He's gone to court to prove his innocence. He sued the special prosecutor. Come to court and come and answer about the freedom of an individual. He's in Pretoria. He's in China. He's in New York. What's he doing there? He's working as special prosecutor of Ghana from Manhattan. And Ghanaian police are with him. We have videos where he's walking around New York and Ghanaian police are with him. I mean, what, what, what's he doing abroad? Yeah, officials travel abroad all the time. We just showed you the Attorney General's video speaking in Cambridge. What is he doing abroad that long and working there? That's a question for the Attorney General. This is not even a question for Kisia Jabin. I don't know whether he's done anything wrong. I absolutely don't know whether he's done anything wrong. These are the facts of what is happening. We viewers, you have to judge it. And that's why I'm putting the question to Minister of Finance and Economic Planning, Donabo Ken Oferiata, Attorney General Godfrey Ebu Adami, the Chief of Staff. They should tell us, is it allowed that an officer, the special prosecutor, who is the boss of the office, works abroad for months with, with Ghanaian retinue? Is that allowed? Anyway, that's, that's her matter on the special prosecutor. How are you doing, by the way, Charles? How are you doing? Good evening. Uh, this is uh, Martin Amidu, this is uh, Cecilia Dapa, and this is, uh, 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 this is Kisi Ajabi, who we are alleging tonight that he has conducted himself in a way that presents a mockery of the established judicial system and the established judicial proceedings that we have held sacrosanct since 1992. Today, Jabing is mocking it and making it look like it is nothing. That a judge can say anything about your freedom and it means nothing. The public official can arrest you again. The public official can seize your money. You can go to court all you want. It will mean nothing. That reference to the court, that submission to the court actually means nothing. That's what Kisia Jabing has done.